Hello and welcome to AfroPage. Today's video, we are going to be talking about top 10 completed projects in Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe's economy has been recovering after years of recession caused by mismanagement and other political reasons. According to the World Bank, Zimbabwe's economy is expected to grow faster than her South and African neighbors, rising from 3.9% in 2021 to 5.1% in 2022, which is above the African average of 3.4%. The economy of Zimbabwe is mainly made of tertiary industries, while most of her exports come from the agriculture and mining sectors. Zimbabwe, though landlocked its east strategical positions to be a major logistical hub in the region located right between Mozambique, Botswana, Zambia and South Africa. Zimbabwe's business and trading opportunities are yet to be explored. As a way to take advantage of its strategic position and improving the country's infrastructure, Zimbabwe is constructing various transport, water, public amenities, energy irrigation and infrastructural projects. In this video, we are going to look at the top 10 ongoing and completed mega projects in Zimbabwe. But before we go into the main video, please do not forget to hit the subscription button, like and share this video with your friends and families. Now back to the video. Number 10 on our list is Zim Cyber City. The Zimbabwe president Unagwaga broke ground to launch construction on a new city in July 2022. Zim Cyber City is a high-tech mixed-use development in Zimbabwe located in Mount Hamden sitting on 2.5 million square meters of the land. Zim Cyber City offers cutting-edge office spaces, high-end residential spaces, shopping malls, recreational facilities, and one of the tallest towers in Africa. At the groundbreaking ceremony, the Zimbabwe president described the development as a landmark project that is also expected to strengthen the relationship between the UAE and Zimbabwe. The project is being developed by the UAE-based industrial conglomerate Monk International, which is investing around 500 million US dollars. Number 9. Kariba South Power Station Expansion Project This project is owned and operated by state-owned Zimbabwe Power Company, ZPC. The Kariba South Power Station is the biggest source of domestic electricity supply in Zimbabwe. The power plant began operation in 1959, producing around 750 megawatts through its six generator units. In 2014, ZPC embarked on a $533 million project to extend existing plants by addition of two more units with a generation capacity of 150 megawatts, each constructed in three years from 2014 to 2017 by China's Sina Hydro Corporation and co-financed by the Zimbabwean government and China Export and Import Bank. The project has increased the power plant capacity from 750 megawatts to 1,050 megawatts, helping the country's national supply of electricity. Number 8. Zimbabwe Roads Development Project Work on major project roads is on the way in Zimbabwe as the Zimbabwean government seeks to modernize its road infrastructure. The construction is on the way on additional northern toll gates along the Harere Bulawayo Highway, dualization of the Harere Matari and Plum Tree to Matari, among others overall. The government plans to upgrade 781 kilometers of roads, regravel 16,284 kilometers of roads, as well as repair and construct 556 kilometers of drainage structures and 22 bridges and other supporting infrastructures. Number 7. Harare Metro Rail Due to lack of public transport options, Harare's urban commuters are forced to use the aging and overcrowded vehicles, which increases traffic jam, carbon emission, and road accidents. So as to solve these problems, the Zimbabwe government plans to introduce a new transport system that will provide a reliable, safe, and affordable public transport option, developed in three phases. Phase 1 of the Harare Metro Rail features a 31km residential area while Phase 2 sees the construction of the railway line to Chichu Mukita Muvugu and Phase 3 sees the extension of the railway line to Robert Mugabe International Airport and the new parliament in Mount Hamden. 
The Harare Metro Rail will also feature an elevated line that will help the metro system not to interfere with the traffic flow and 19 modern train stations. Number 6. Robert Mugabe International Airport Expansion Project the completion of Robert Mugabe International Airport Expansion Project will significantly increase tourist arrival. The $153 million US dollar project is being financed by China Export Import Bank and it is being constructed by China Jiangsu International. The project involves the construction of a new airport terminal and aprons for new bridges, a secondary weather system, a VIP pavilion, an airfield grand lighting, and communication system, among other things. The project is expected to increase the airport's holding capacity to 6 million passengers per annum from 2.5 million which exist currently. Number 5. Mount Hamden Smart City Zimbabwe is pushing for quick opening of the newly built city as the city has been attracting many investors. The newly built city puts emphasis on information and communications technology so as to boost operational efficiency and improve the quality of government services and public welfare. The city's master plan was developed by experts from the Harare University with some of the key structures incorporated in the design of the new city. The new city entails office parks, commercial entities, a high-tech park, information communication technology center park, institutional facilities, agro-processing structures, resort hotels, conference centers, golf course, apartment clustered houses, and garden flats, as well as low-density residential areas, civic centers, game sanctuaries, a botanical garden, a waste energy management centers, roads, servitudes, and aerial green buffers. Located at the heart of the city is the new parliament building which was constructed and fully funded by China as a gift to the Southern African nation. Number 4. Matabele Land Zambezi Water Project the Zimbabwean government is investing 600 million US dollars in Metabelan Zambezi water project to solve the good the recent water crisis faced by the country due to drought. The project embodies a massive water project in Zimbabwe's Metabelan province, which aims to elevate the persistent water scarcity that plagues Zimbabwe's second largest city, Bulawayo. By providing water from the glorious Zambezi River to the city, the mega infrastructure investment project is being implemented in three phases. With the Guayi Shangani Dam as the first phase, Shagan Lawayo Pipeline as the second phase, and the final Shagani to Zambezi River Pipeline as the third phase. Construction is being undertaken by China International Water and Electric Corporation, an affiliate of China Three Judges Corporation. Construction of the dam involves the building of 70 meter high, 305 meter wide roller compacted concrete ROCC gravity dam. The infrastructure will hold 634 million cubic meters of water and will be situated 6 kilometers downstream of the confluence of the Guayu Shagani rivers, which are tributaries of the Zambazi River. Number 3 Bait Bridge Border Post Project. The Bait Bridge Border Post project is part of the 930 km Bait Bridge Border Post Modernization Project. Construction of the highway is expected to improve the quality of the road, which has outlived its lifespan. The project is divided into two phases. Phase 1 involves widening of the highway from the present 7 meters to 12.5 meters in line with the Southern African Transport and Communications Standard. While phase 2 of the project sees the dualization of the entire road upgrade of the entire border post, ICT infrastructure, as well as the construction of a number of social projects to improve the town of Bates Bridge. Infrastructure such as fire station, residential buildings, a sewage dam, and a new water reservoir. A consortium made up of a group of Zimbabweans, South Africans, international entrepreneurs and financial institutions and experts is carrying out the construction work. The highway will resort in Zimbabwe leveraging its central geographical location to become a regional logistic hub as well as reducing road accidents caused by the existing tinier and overwhelmed road. Number 2. Zimbabwe Urban Renewal Projects 
The government of Zimbabwe seeks to transform urban housing infrastructure by developing new infrastructure and introducing sustainable services. The project involves development of housing infrastructure in Bulawayo, Harere, Masfingo and Matari provinces as well as construction of a new city in Mount Hamden and a satellite town on the outskirts of Victoria Falls. The ambitious 30 billion project will be the rehabilitation and development of some Zimbabwe's oldest residential suburbs to world-class status by 2030. And number one on our list of top 10 mega projects in Zimbabwe is Mwange Power Plant Project. The biggest coal-fired power facility in Zimbabwe is being expanded by adding 600 megawatts in stored capacity. The Wange Power Plant is a power plant in Zimbabwe located in the country's border with Zambia. The 1.5 billion US dollars expansion project is being undertaken by a special purpose vehicle SUV comprising of Zimbabwe Power Company's APC, a subsidiary of Zimbabwe Electricity Supply Authorities, Iron Chinese State and Hydropower Engineering and Construction Company Sino Hydro. The power project involves installation of two giant boiler turbine generator sets with a combined capacity of 600 megawatts along with the necessary extension to the cooling towers. When the extension is complete, Uwange power station will have four 120 megawatt units from the first phase, 220 megawatt units from the second phase and the two 300 megawatt units from the new third phase to give a total capacity of 1,520 megawatt units. The 1.5 billion US dollars infrastructure investment in Wangi power station is critical to the country's economy development and electricity generation. It signifies Zimbabwe's attempts to find designed long-term solutions to power shortages which are stifling industrial growth and slowing economic growth. Despite the disruption brought by COVID-19 pandemic, which affected the world, the Zimbabwe government managed to complete over 70 major projects in the past three years, of which the just mentioned 10 are included. Do not forget to tell us your opinion about this video in the comment section below. Till next time.